Hey guys, um, it is Tuesday, April 9th, currently 10.15. I have been up for a while, but, um, it's just been one heck of a morning. So, I have some grits that I actually made my son, he didn't want them, so I'm just eating them. And I have a white hot chocolate here. My nose is stuffy, I'm not sure if I'm coming down with a cold, or if it's just my sinuses with, um, hormones and stuff being out of whack. But, um, this is a school only three vlogs for school. Um, I know I didn't post anything last week. My mind was blank on what to post. Um, it, it really was. It was just completely blank. And, um, yeah, like, I want to do my teaching videos, but I think I'm going to take a moment on, a moment off of that. Um, just for now, because, yeah, I'm just going to do that. I'll explain probably later in this video why. But, um, yeah, I sound nasally. I apologize. I just changed the sheets and stuff in my bed. Um, and we are going to get into week four of school. So, I will be pretty much at the halfway mark with this week with school, which is crazy. Um, and to be honest, at one point, I think the first two weeks, I was ready to just quit. <laughs> because it was so complicated. Uh, by the grace of God, I do have 100 in this class currently. Um, I've been acing all of my assignments, but I there have been tears poured into these assignments, like tears like crazy. And so today is week four. Week four, we dive into the Pilgrim's Progress, which is probably going to be my favorite week ever, but most probably the most confusing because we're getting into like allegory and how to teach using allegories. And yeah, so um, I'm excited about that. A lot of the assignments that we've been doing have been more so like lesson planning <laughs> my bank just texted me but um a lot of the assignments we've been doing have been more like actually creating lessons to teach to kids i've been picking third graders which is around the eight to nine year old range um just because my son is nine i didn't want to do fourth grade specifically or fifth um, and I didn't want to do preschoolers, so I, sp I stuck to, like, the third grade range, which is where they're starting to fully under, not fully understand, but they're starting to get an interest in God. And most of the kids at my church are range between the ages of 9 to 12. And so, um, yeah, I just picked a third grade for most of my assignments to do. And, um, yeah, I have my iPad. I've been playing music. I have a secret place, uh, playlist that I will link down below. I haven't added to it in a minute, but, um... It's just been, it's just been crazy. It's been crazy. Um, and thank you guys for watching and commenting on my last video that I posted, the q and A. I I truly appreciate it. Some people misunderstood what the point of that video was, um, which, you know, like I said, everyone will understand and take things as they choose to take it. Um, some people thought I wasn't being humble about the situation and I'm very much I have humility about the situation I understand what was done like there I, I don't understand how it was taken out of I don't know it was just taken the wrong way so to those who took it the wrong way I really don't know what else there is to say um I don't have to justify myself to people but I choose to share and be transparent with you all um and everything that I go through, even with, um, you know, the things that's been going on with my son, I choose to be transparent. And again, I know transparency with a limit because not everything needs to be on social media. But I also want to share how to, you know, go through things, trusting God. Um, and so, you know, to each day on, someone also asked me if I'll be changing this channel and adding like more mommy content. Not really. This is a faith-based channel. Um, obviously my children will be on the channel, uh, my husband will be on the channel and stuff like that, but it's not going to be like I'm changing this channel in totality. This channel will still be what it was created for. Um, there will be moments where I do share certain things and like blogs and stuff if God tells me to, but, um, outside of that, um, no, um, this is strictly going to be what it was, a faith-based channel about books bible studies resources and things like that getting closer to god and if by chance that's me showing you inside of my life it is what it is um but yeah so i did not read my kindle last night which means my kindle thing started over lovely whatever i have water here it's not a lot left in here i had to actually refill it i have to drink three of these a day so i have this one here 
um and then i have two already in the refrigerator that have been cold since last night and so i have to drink lots of water um, i'm not a water person but i definitely made a hot chocolate for today because it's just one of those days um and let me just show you guys the new nails i'll be putting on i'll be doing these kiss gel fantasy jelly color um translucent nails i'll be doing these they're like a lavender color I have a bunch of lavender nails, but I kind of wanted to save one of my lavender ones for my gender reveal because my gender reveal is going to be um, purple, gold, and lavender. And so, yeah, I'm going to pop these on. They're the medium size. Usually, I do the long or the extra long, but these are the medium size. Um, and if you guys want the number, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I got these from Rite Aid because there's no, like, sticker on it. So, I'm pretty sure I had picked these up from Rite Aid when Rite Aid was open by my house. But, yes. So, this week, I am still slightly behind on my readings per usual. Um, I'm still in the middle of <laughs> Chapter 3. So, I need to finish Chapter 3. And then, uh, this week, we were supposed to read half of Chapter 4 and Chapter 5. I never got to Chapter 4 last week. So, I need to read the rest of 3, Chapter 4, and all of Chapter 5 in this book. And this is a book that we use for our quizzes. Um, and it's pretty interesting. I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, and then we have the Pilgrim's Progress. So, we only technically have to read a chapter, but I'm probably going to indulge because I've been wanting to read this for a minute. Um, but I won't do all of it because I do want to do a reading vlog on the Pilgrim's Progress. So, I have this edition. I also have my classics edition, which I'm actually probably going to go grab just in case I want to add notes to it. Um, but yeah, we only really have to read one chapter. Um and then do a lesson plan assignment on that and talk about allegory and there's just a whole lot however my professor also gave like seven or ten handouts all about the pilgrim's progress and some of them range for like one page to like four pages or five so i think i want to read those first before i get into the book so that i have that background information on the characters um john bunyan himself and things like that setting and whatnot um i don't really want this but I don't want to waste it because I'm eating it. He'd eat it. So it's 10:23. I'll come back on shortly. Um, I'm probably gonna go find something else to eat because this is not what I want. I don't want this. I don't want to keep my hot chocolate back up. But um, yeah, it is week four of school. Super super excited. Um, and for those who are gonna ask, I am doing pretty good. Um, so far so good doing pretty good no bad things or whatever have happened um thus far and i'm very grateful for that and um baby bump is pretty good and yeah the only thing really is just my sinuses have gone out of whack since yesterday i don't know where they came from now it could be because it the weather has been crazy and some days i don't have my coat zipped up because i'm hot but even though i'm hot it's cold outside and so that could be the reason for my sinuses being messed up or it could be my hormones. I'm not sure. But this is life right now. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to set myself up. Uh, fix this high chocolate. Um, I think I want another one too. It is white high chocolate too. Um, I need to print my assignments too. So I can put those on my binder. But... And let me get this stuff set for the week and set up my notion for the week as well um so yeah luckily we don't have a discussion post this week thankfully we only have one assignment and a quiz so grateful for that because then i could catch up on my other three textbooks that i'm still behind on i'm like so behind it's it's not behind on assignments but behind on my readings which is absolutely insane but it's the reality of my life right now and I think it's because this class, like I said, has seven textbooks. My other classes maybe had two or three. This one is OD. Um, like, OD, OD. And so, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot. It's, it's quite a lot. But we're going to make it work. I need to duplicate this. So, yeah, I'm going to go. Um, and I'll come back when I get ready to actually, like, do something. Because right now I'm just setting up my Notion. And you guys don't need to see that. But uh, I'll be back. Alright guys, so it is 1048. I forgot my school 
they have chapel three days a week. So on Tuesdays, they have um, the president's chapel with the president, Dr. Um, Mark Jobe, gives a special, like, talk. Um, uh, he does a message, pretty much. Wednesdays at 10 a.m., um, there's worship. So for, like, the whole hour, they just worship. And then on Thursdays at 10 a.m., they always have a guest speaker that, um, right now the theme for the current chapel is Transformation Brought from Death to Life, which is from Romans 6, 12 to 13. And so I always forget, I did watch it, I think, last week, but the one from last week for chapel, um, it was pretty much about is it Passover? It was about something concerning um Resurrection Sunday. And it it was it was good. Um luckily I can always go back and watch. So it's actually ten forty eight my time, which means right now in my school's time it's nine forty nine, uh, because it just turned ten forty nine. So I'm gonna try to watch snippets of that and um get that going. I did print out my last assignment from last week. So let me see if I can pull up the chapel link. See, that's chapel from last week. Remove. Yeah, last week's chapel was, um, it was here. So I have to find the chapel link for this week. So I'm probably going to have to go into my email to get that link. But yeah, they do chapel every week. My Bible's right there. I was like, where's my Bible? I reheated it up. I also made pepper sandwiches. I, that's what I was craving. I know it does not go with hot chocolate, but that's what I want. That's what I'm craving. So, that's what we're eating. I have 20 emails in my damn thing. Okay. I wanted to actually go to my school this month or next month, but that is not going to happen. So. Yes, I'm aware. I'm aware of that. Here we go. Yes, yeah, so in three minutes, President's Chapel will start. Okay, and then I can pull out my articles for this week. So, all of this is pretty much all the articles that need to be read on top of the Pilgrim's Progress, on top of the other thing. And so, what I'm going to do is this will be. Let me just look at my, um, what I said and how I wanted to read things. Okay. That's for Wednesday. So today I'm doing this, this. Okay. Very long. <laughs> the character list which is also very long and then the plots something is missing or am I tripping okay, so this is when you gotta go back into your school assignments and work alright two minutes I got time
Alright, so I want to read this information on John Bunyan first. Then I want to go over the plots. Alright, so John Bunyan's two pages, plot is two pages. The literary elements is five, so one, two, three, four, five. Great. Then I can go over list of characters, right? That's four pages, and then this, which is eight. Cool. So these are the articles for today. So I said tomorrow it's going to be this. This and this. Alright. So I have my stuff. But I didn't put that on my list. So I need to put that on the list. Puritans. We are set for today. That is good. I can get out of my email. Alright, so this is going to start in about a minute. So let me grab my Bible. Oh, things are everywhere. Things are everywhere. Got my Bible out, and I'm just waiting for that to start. Let's see. So today is a guest speaker, so it won't be the president. It's going to be Dr. Lori Norris, um, who is a dean of faculty in the undergraduate school professor of Bible. And so um, they're going to be starting shortly. It's live now. Um, it's 10.57. So I'm going to listen to that just for some morning. It's almost like a devotional in a sense, but um, yeah. also did grab my classic edition of John Bunyan so I could transfer notes over into this book from the other book so we have everything out it's going to be a good day I'm going to start off with this information about John Bunyan first so need my pens And I'll get the Bible highlighters later. Just gonna flip my pillow around. So that I have it. My hole punch can go on the floor. My binder can go in my book bag for now. So I can make space for everything that's up here. I need 
wipe around me for my nose. The nose of that can just go there. Alright, we're set, we're ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. Don't need this on my mind right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna read this textbook until it's time. I'm reading this article until it's time because I don't know what else to do. And I don't have left much left of chapter three, just ten pages left to go in chapter three. So we're starting with this background information, John Bunyan, um, by my professor, Professor Elizabeth Smith. She basically gives us notes on what she has from what she teaches in like in person classes. Um, so I'm just gonna do that until this live starts. So basically what my school usually does before they start is obviously pray and they also do a small worship session. Um, kind of like if you're in church. And so while they're doing that, um, I am going to listen. And you can see like all the students are in there and it's amazing to see them. So while they're doing that, while I'm listening to the worship, I am also going to be reading some of this to get a head start at the same time. So we're going to be doing that. So you can watch me do that, I guess. of God like people gazed at the eclipse so hey this weekend this auditorium will be full there's over 600 and something ladies signed up for the called conference and I want you to know that if you're a student here a female student you go for free so hopefully you've already heard about that and uh, there are QR codes all around the campus with the chapel probably longer than i should it ended at um, 11 my time it's currently 12 22 though so um i did take my time i took notes so you guys can see 
lots of notes um there i'm probably gonna come back and like fix it up down the line but um she talked on the state of your devotion from second corinthians 11 to 3 which i thought is very comical because i've actually studied this before for class and so um yeah, I, I was really intrigued by it. I'm going to go back through it probably later on tonight or tomorrow morning um, and really look at it some more. But um, it was good. It was a good session. So where's my pencil? I'm done with that for now. I'm going to connect my computer, plug it in because it is dying. <sighs> but... It was good. It was it was definitely a good session for sure. Um, I do need to also fix my desk because my desk is horrendous. I did switch my bed around. So my bed is now against the wall. So I need to do some cleaning in here. But I'm going to get back to reading. Um, right now I'm reading through the plot synopsis for Pilgrim's Progress. And so we are doing that. I'm probably also going to watch the video next. So... Hey guys, um, it's 1.55 right now. My son gets out in probably like 45 minutes. Um, he actually wasn't supposed to come to me till Thursday, but they have no school tomorrow, so I was going to get him tomorrow, but I'm just going to pick him up today. Um, he's been messaging me all day while he's been in school. So, yeah, I've gotten quite a few of the articles read. Um, I did the background information on John Bunyan for my professor. I read through her plot synopsis for Pilgrim's Progress by my professor, which is very detailed, and it definitely reads as if I'm watching the movie again. I just went through the list of characters for part one, because there is two parts to Pilgrim's Progress, because part one is about Christian, and then the part two is about Christiana, or Christiana, which is his wife and his kids. Um, so she just gives, like, in-depth information about each of the characters, which is going to be helpful because... Even though I understood who the characters were, especially when I watched the movie, this is a lot more um, understandable and easy for me to um, read through. And I actually probably should mark that line too. Okay, so we went through that. And now I am on um, the key literary element of the Pilgrim's Progress. So it goes through setting, allegory, parable. Um, this is what that looks like. So right now, I'm going through a parable's purpose and motive about that. And then it talks about the parable of Jesus. Um, and then it goes into the themes of Pilgrim's Progress. So the major themes, the minor themes, the mood, the conflict, um, the protagonist, antagonist, climax, outcome. And so once I go through that, then I can read through her PowerPoint that she actually did. And I always print out every single thing that my professor gives us like i've been doing that since the first um thing and so not really sure what this has to do i don't know this goes to the puritan thing so i guess it's talking about real pilgrims john bunyan apparently there's videos so I probably should watch that. But so far, so good. I am going through things. I'm really, I just need to read those last 10 chap ten pages in chapter 3. Um, but I'm just trying to get through this right now. I feel like a hot mess. Um, I don't I don't know. My head hurts. I don't want to turn this on migraine. So I'm currently eating. I have Wendy's hair. Um, my mom got it for me. Because if you gave it to me, I'm going to forget to eat. Um, my water, technically I finished this, but I refilled it up and I have another water bottle here, which is stupid because I have two big water bottles, just like this, it's 24 ounces in the fridge. I just don't feel like it's not. Um, <clears throat> so, water, pineapple mango lemonade. feel like a mess right now i'm trying to keep myself presentable i've had my hair wrapped since yesterday i actually wrapped it but i don't feel too good 
so i'm probably gonna try to redo the last few bits of this and if not i'll probably read up to conflict which is three pages um and then i'll save the last two pages for later just because I, I think i need a mental break and a bad habit of mine is um i will work myself to the bone get stressed out work with work in the stress and then it just doesn't do good for me with school which is why the past three weeks i've been bawling my eyes out doing assignments but thank god i'm in the hundreds um and so it's hard to breathe right now because my nose the top half of my body hurts i don't know so i'm going to get back to at least doing this page at least i'm almost done actually it's quite interesting i mean oh i like that wait a minute that was good see and stuff like it's moments like these when i'm reading the articles and stuff she gives us in the notes and i'm just like that was good <laughs> We're, like i said i'm talking about parables right now and it says um in the 19th century lisco and fear fear baron started stated that in the parables of jesus the image borrowed from the visible world is accompanied by a truth from the invisible spiritual world and that the parables of jesus are not mere similitudes which serve purpose of illustration but are the internal analogies where nature becomes a witness for the spiritual world and just wow just wow i i really do like that myself so i'm going to mark it in orange and i'm using my pens because apparently when i print um certain articles out they don't it like the ink smears when i highlight so I'm, i've switched over to using these gel pens the paper mint ink choice um to mark for now on when i'm reading like articles like this and when i'm in my textbooks my highlighters of course jesus did not form his parables merely as analogies but based on an inward affinity between the natural and the spiritual orders just like like this we love it's stuff like that that gets me intrigued but i feel like so I feel like a hot mess right now, so I'm gonna try to get through this last page for now. So let's see the parables of Jesus. Uh, sorry about that. My son called me. His school is having a fire drill. He's having a moment. Um, yeah, if you guys don't know, my son has been dealing with anxiety, um, and I know it's a spiritual thing he's dealing with, but in a natural sense is also a lot and so i've been trying to work through that on both the spiritual and the natural um he is seeing a therapist um and it's it's been a lot going on that's why i don't really talk about um the situation with my son too often because there's still a lot going on it's still a lot going into it and just things just need to be put in order before i can finish talking about that situation um not just my son but everything as a whole but um co-parenting has been fine um yeah so sorry about that my brain just went left from what he texted and called me about <sighs> so yeah i'm yeah <laughs> not feeling good dealing with that life personal stuff faith it's just oh you gotta have faith that's that's literally been my slogan the past couple of months is you gotta have faith like regardless of what it looks like you gotta have faith so i think it's so interesting that we are actually going through um the pilgrim's progress this week and I've, the, some of the stuff that i read um like about the characters and stuff like that has been really interesting this far so i'm definitely going to be rewatching the movie I'm probably on Monday when the week is over. I'll rewatch it. But I'm, I'm not going to probably really read the books until tomorrow. So I can actually put my Pilgrim's Progress books up. Because I'm not going to read these right now. I'm just not. Um, I think my brain is overloaded with information on the Pilgrim's Progress. So trying to read the Pilgrim's Progress is just not going to mentally work for me. So just the 10 pages in here. And then I'm on my second to last article 
that needs to get read and i'll be done so yeah back to what i'm doing Hey guys, it's 10.35 on Thursday, um, and it's been a rough morning for me, a very rough morning, cried my eyes out and dealing with a lot, um, let me close my door really quick, hold on, but yeah, um, I have a pepper sandwich again, that's just what I wanted, I do have my water bottle along with some coffee, or just a shot of espresso with a lot of creamer in it for now, because I just, I needed something. Um, I'm still congested, being congested, it is what it is, it comes with it. Um, today I'm 16 weeks. This past week I've been feeling flutters. Um, so, you know. So today, at 11 a.m. my time, 10 a.m. their time, they're having a um, chapel again. Like I said, they have chapels three days a week. I only really attend the ones on Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday is usually the president's chapel. And then Thursdays is always like a guest speaker coming that speaks on the topic. And so I think today is kate clark so let me open that up and that starts at 11 a.m my time and so i have my ipad charging right now and i'm gonna watch that they don't really have any information it just says there's a chapel with kate clark um and it doesn't really say anything else so got that going as far as schoolwork yesterday i pretty much did good I was on one last last article last night, um, and I didn't start the Pilgrim's Progress like I wanted to, so I'm just going to do all that today. I have the article here, and the article, what article was this that I was reading? It's the last article that I had to read, and this one is on, the Puritans have historically been much aligned. This one is like eight to nine pages, something like that. I think it's eight pages, though. So I just have to read this article. And then I'm pretty much done with all my articles. And then I have to do the Pilgrim's Progress because that is the main assignment this week is reading and doing a lesson plan on that. We don't have a discussion post, thankfully. So that's not something I have to worry about this week. Um, and then once I do chapter 5 of uh, my textbook, I can do my quiz for the week. So that's great as well. So I'm going to move this over here. Okay, so I'm just going to finish reading this article, eat my pepper sandwich, try to focus my mind. Um, it's just so much going on, so much. That is driving me up a wall. And the thing is, these past couple of weeks have been pretty much good. So, I'm not really sure where things went a little crazy. my pins for this and I'll let you see me um to my assignment Hey guys, let me turn my other phone down really quickly. 
but um it's currently 9 43 same day i believe it's the 11th yes the 11th um and i am finished most of my work i just have to actually read this book in order to do my assignment and so i did my quiz today i finished chapter five of the um big truth little heart book or whatever it's called i just have to read john money which i am going to do today i have my classics edition as well as the edition that i have for school um i already have all the highlighters and pens that i want to use to take notes and then i also have a sticky note somewhere over here with my um like color code system i'm just gonna go grab some tabs from over here, but I gotta get behind all this stuff. And my son is here being weird. Wanna say hi? Hello. <laughs> so, yes. Um, I'm slightly out of breath just a little bit. But, um, yeah, my son is watching TV. So if you hear that, I apologize. But yeah, I'm finally, finally, finally starting this book. And I'm so excited. So I'm gonna actually just read through the introduction information today from this book and from the other book and then i'll actually like vlog the reading tomorrow but i just wanted to come on and let you guys know that so tomorrow you'll see me actually like vlogging my reading experience today i'm just going to be going through the introduction and stuff and i'll show you guys my color code and all that but i'm gonna go and chat with you all tomorrow hey guys so it is currently 9 40 in the morning it is friday the 12th of april and um yeah i'm gonna start doing my reading of Pilgrim's Progress. I did go through last night and I read through um, some of the introduction stuff. This one is the Penguins Classic Edition that I have. This was $11. I got it out of, um, I think I bought this one directly from Barnes and Nobles. But um, I really just love this cover. The cover is Plan of the Road from City of Destruction to the Celestial City, engraved expressively for Williams' elegant edition of the Pilgrim's Progress 19th century from the Bridgman Art Library. But I really love this cover. But this is the edition I'm going to also be reading. And so what I did was I went through the introduction, um, which was actually really interesting. I found some words that I do need to define. Um, I underlined some things that were like key to the story. I also did my annotation key. Um, so I just made up this annotation color code system. Um, with the various sticky notes that I had or page flags that I had because I really wanted it to kind of like match the color scheme The pink is really nowhere to be found on this But you see the orange the yellow the blue is like a little bit there you got the greens the purple isn't there But um, you know, I just wanted to add that and then stuff like that So that's my annotation key And so I am I have like the basic things that I'm going to be doing which is like favorite quotes in pink um, orange will be anything dealing with the plot, yellow will be anything funny, blue will be anything emotional, and then we go into, like, the major stuff as far as this book goes. So, green is for analyzing or any type of, um, figurative language that I like. Purple is for salvation. We have gray for suffering. Grace and works are going to be a mint green, and then brown for fear and evil, and then if I underline anything in black, that's what that is. Um, because according to what my professor gave us, the main things are going to be salvation, um, suffering, grace versus works, as well as fear and evil. And so I decided to do that. It might seem like a lot, but I really want to take my time and enjoy this book. I did briefly go through the apology, but I was not understanding anything. So I'm going to try to find an audiobook for this um, and go through the apology. I also have this version here, which I'm also going to try to read through. So... The author's apology is in here. Along with some background information. Um, the historical background information is really just on um, John Bunyan himself. Not really about the book. So I kind of like the background information that was in my classic version. Because it was more so about the book rather than about you know, the Puritan lifestyle and stuff like that. Um, and it talks about his other book, Grace Abounding. So yeah, I am going to dive right in to reading. Um, I did pull out another book. This is the J.R.R. Tolkien, The Two Towers. I got this just so that I can lean it against the page. So it looks like that. So it's not a hassle to like underline and things like that. And so all of my highlighters are here. I just made up a set for the purpose of this uh, book. And these are the highlights I'll be using along with these. And then I have sticky notes. 
this purple one well ombre purple and then a fox no i'm like raccoon <laughs> so these will be the sticky notes i use and so i'm going to get started on reading and find the audiobook first so i'm going to get started on reading i'll come back when i get started i'm going to try to find an audiobook first and then i'll come back Um, so it is currently 11.54, almost lunchtime. Um, so I'm actually gonna go end up getting a bowl of cereal. But I did read through the first 20, I can't even really say 20, but the first few chapters, per se, of The Pilgrim's Progress. Because my edition doesn't have chapters. It just goes from part one to part two. And so it just reads through. However, in the version that I have for school, if I can grab it. In this version, what it does is it breaks um, the part one into different sections or chapters, per se. And even the PDF file that my teacher get sent, gave us, um, the file she gave us, is from desiringgod.org. Um, I'll try to link the file down below. And so between those two, um, I'm about 67 pages or so into the book. And I am around chapter, let's see. See, this doesn't even have chapters. That one doesn't. So I am at chapter, five-ish, um, five-ish, but again, it doesn't have chapters when you read the actual classic edition, and so I did go through, I did add tabs in already, um, we have some markings, some notes, it is so good, I've been defining words and things like that. I need to get a good black pen, at first I was using, um, this uh enjoy gel pen to write my notes in didn't like it then i swapped over to this pen um it's like a muji pen like a 0.5 don't really like it because it's too inky and i also tried to use a micron um but it was too big of a micron so i do have a smaller micron um which is a zero one which is the 0.25 millimeter ones that i use in my bible when i bible journal it's not gonna focus right now but i have that i'm gonna try that out next but um you can see when i switch from that that uh thicker micron to the blue ink and so yeah so far I'm really enjoying uh reading the actual book um and I'm getting the scenes that I remember in the movie and so I read up to page 23 um which is right before um Evangelist goes to save um Christian at Mount Sinai 
uh so yeah so far so good i'll come back on with more thoughts but i'm gonna go um the next thing i need to do is take notes and add it on sticky notes and put it in here because there are certain sections i really want to dissect um especially the slow of despondence um uh th there's a lot of things i really want to break down and so i am looking at a few websites to help me i have my textbook which the textbook is great with the questions but i'm also using cliff notes just to get the summaries and stuff like that as well as lit charts um so i'm using both of those i'll try to link those down below but i'm using those but um yeah i think i'll update you guys maybe on monday when i start my assignment and submit it but um yeah for friday and the rest of this week i'll be diving through <laughs> give me a second i'm recording the video <laughs> okay. sorry i'm on the phone with bay um and so yeah oh and i do want to let y'all guys know i did pick out his uh wedding band which i really love i showed it to my mother she loves it i showed it to um my brother's girlfriend he she loves it and i showed it to my son he loves it and so i did pick out his wedding band um he also picked out my rings both my rings and so i'm excited um it's just a matter of you know the proposal and stuff like that but yeah, I'm enjoying this book so much, and finally reading it is so fun, and so I'm just gonna go get me a bowl of cereal right now, and, um, take my time, take my time going through this, adding notes, and then I'll probably like again show you on Monday, like I said, what I have already, um, any notes I've added to it on top of the assignment, and my last assignment from last week, I just got 100 on, so we still have a 100 in my class, which is amazing, like, I cry tears 24 7 doing my assignments but to see that the tears that I'm crying are not out of naught like they're for purpose and that God is seeing and he's helping me with each assignment because assignment these assignments are not easy they're not and my professor does not have us do like basic things and like the last assignment she wanted us to do a holiday lesson plan but I didn't want to stick to the basics and obviously it was around Easter so a lot of people did Easter and Passover um I think one person did Valentine's Day I wanted to step outside of the religious holidays or the basic holidays that are like well known and so what I picked was a secular holiday I think it was the lighthouse day which is on August 7th and I made a whole lesson plan about that um connecting actual light lighthouses to um Jesus Christ as our lighthouse and also even in reference to us being a lighthouse for people to see and so it kind of takes that real life um example and giving you a biblical principle in a sense if that makes sense and so she graded my assignment just now and I got 100 on that and so yes um it was like four pages long and with that assignment you had to do an actual exegetical um breakdown of a passage um correlating it to your holiday and making it biblical which was like uh you had to include a craft activity you had to include a game activity and you had to include a snack and so it took a while I did some research and I was able to look up like if other people did any things and I was like able to take bits and pieces but with each thing with the exegetical the exegetical um breakdown with the snack the game and the activity they all had to point back to a biblical principle concerning Christ or God and so it was interesting and I loved it and I'm excited because these are things that I can take to my church and utilize with the youth um, maybe next year because I'm going to use this class to really help build my portfolio and then share these things with my uh, bishop and apostle to get their approval to actually go through these things with the kids because I think it's amazing to be able to do that and now that I'm getting the tools and stuff it's kind of easier for me to not overthink doing lesson plans um and so because for this class i'm sticking with that third grade range with like eight to nine year olds um it's making me think a lot more and so yeah um so far so good with this book i'm gonna go i'll come back to you guys on monday to show you guys any updates on the notes if i read any further um i will have a reading blog though for sure on this book um because i'm loving it and because i started it already this week i'm just gonna continue reading it through my reading has not been the best because of school but um we are trying we are trying we are trying and so yeah i'm gonna go and i will see you guys on um monday to close out this vlog and prayerfully this vlog will go up on wednesday which wednesday is actually um the 17th is actually my <laughs> sorry about that guys um my alarm went off for my vitamin because i still haven't taken it yet <laughs> but yeah so i'm gonna go take some notes on these sticky notes and just enjoy the rest of my day until my son gets out he gets out in like another two and a half hours ish so yeah um i'll chat with you all
Lisa. Hey guys, so it is currently Monday. It is the 15th of April. Where's my other phone? Monday, April 15th. And um, it's 9 a.m. now. I just got back in the house from taking my son to school. And as much as I need to finish my assignment, I also need to get this desk together because this desk is looking horrendous. These are books that need to be hauled. So that will be included in a haul. That's a gift that I got from the speaking engagement I did along with this brown bag. I got body care stuff on there, a soda, folders for work and business. It, mm, yeah, this desk just needs to get fixed. And I also want to fix up my Bibles because I have a bunch of Bibles out. And though I like them out, I prefer them on the desk. And so I need to fix this desk so that I'm still able to use it while I am on my bed. And I do need to make my bed. I didn't make it this morning. I let my son speak for me um, last night because I was tired. He was tired and I didn't feel like pulling out the... Um, I didn't feel like pulling out his his bed to fix it up and stuff it was just late um let me turn up this fan i need to eat though um but real quick i guess i'll do a belly shot because some people are definitely still asking about a belly shot so um here is my belly i do have on jeans right now that are like kind of compressing somewhat so yeah i have on jeans i think i'm gonna switch to a dress though for today i might go out with one of my sisters from church um Possibly, I don't know yet, but I need to clean up my room. I need to organize um, the clothes over here. I need to go through this book bin. Basically, I'm going to start cleaning, packing. Um, possibly, those two bookshelves will be being tear torn down. Um, and so what I'll be doing is, between these two bookshelves, I'm going to look through the books that I want to read by like the end of the year. And then I'm only going to have this shelf. This shelf will remain the same, probably not. Um, and then these two over here I'm also going to go through so basically I'm going to condense my shelves from the six that I have to basically four um because honestly those two over there are my oldest bookshelves I've had them for years and as you can see the back of that shelf is completely done for it's actually falling apart but I um you can kind of see the clip there I, if I can get my finger I clipped it together to the other bookshelf so it wouldn't fall so yeah um we have lots of to do between now and the time the baby comes because again we are going to be moving we don't know if we will find um our place before baby comes and if not i have to make do with what's here obviously and so um yeah it's just a lot of praying the place comes before then and if not by the end of the year which also would suck because then i gotta figure out my son's schooling and it's just, it's just a lot um but yeah i'm gonna start doing that so i'm gonna go eat breakfast first and start cleaning so it is now nine o'clock i'm not going to start my assignment till probably 11 so at 10 o'clock i'm gonna start cleaning so hopefully from 10 to 11 i can clean but right now i'm just gonna relax um and just chill so i'll be back when i get ready to clean possibly we'll see or when i do my work so yeah <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm back in the house. It is currently 9.08 in the morning. Um, and I did not end this vlog yesterday night when I finished my assignment. Um, but I did print it out and I did my lesson plan. Um, so here is the first page to it. And the second page. And that portion is really, really tiny. But yeah. So my assignment is completed. So I'm just going to hole punch that and put it in my binder. Week four is completed. Today um, marks the first day of week five, 
which this week I believe she said we're going to be talking about risk management and safety for children's ministry in the classroom and stuff like that and so yeah I'm out of breath I'm out of breath um yesterday I did go shopping for the baby but I can't really show what I got <laughs> um I can't show what I got that's why I'm waiting for May 18th to like be able to like show you guys the things that I've gotten so far because they're just amazing and adorable and like we just love it we love it here in this world <laughs> um but yeah I'm gonna go I gotta get my bed together my son dropped off at school he's going back to his father tonight um I do have a doctor's appointment tomorrow and so I need to go make me some breakfast I'm gonna have grits and eggs and then drink it in short after that I am gonna be drinking in shorts after every meal as much as I can because I need to get to at least 30 pounds gained and as of now I'm like oh she said 25 to 30 or 35 pounds so I'm currently 108 so basically by the end of this pregnancy I need to be somewhere between 133 and 130 143 um somewhere like that but um I need to clean up because my room looks horrendous right now everything just looks crazy um I'm gonna take out these curtains because it is super hot last night was like the hottest time ever and so i literally all i gotta do is snatch them off because they're not connected to the other ones i am going to be getting rods for my curtain and i also have blinds for this one to fix but um yeah that's that so thank you guys for watching a week in my life for school week four specifically um which was probably the best week because obviously we read the pilgrim's progress i did not finish it i did not continue it because i do want to make that a reading vlog and so i'm probably going to wait until i have a smoother week to complete reading that book for a reading vlog but um I am going to be coming back with the school tape letter videos those are coming um because I I just I miss creating the content that I made bible studies uh read-alongs doing book reviews sit downs and stuff like that I miss making that content and um I personally want to get back to it and so I will be going through the school tape letter sometime this week to get a couple of chapters ahead so that I can start getting back into the habit of making those videos um because I know many of you guys are waiting and I thank you guys so much for your patience for your love for your understanding for your prayers for your care and so yeah that's that on that I'm tired I'm hungry but I gotta get to school and so I will chat with you all in the next video Bye.